Greetings and welcome. My name is Aaron Craig with letslearnthistogether.com. What I want to do is talk about alarms, what they are, and how to use them. I made this video several years ago and apparently I didn't actually talk about how to set an alarm. So let's fix that. I have a blank project here with just a room and an object. So I'm going to add a create event. And inside here, I'm going to show you the basic way you set alarms. Basically, probably 90% of the time, this is how you're going to do it. You'll type the keyword alarm, which will turn green, open bracket, and then you put in a number between zero and 11, because there are 12 possible alarms. An alarm is actually an array of an alarms. So you can choose any of those numbers, you set it, close the bracket, and you assign it a number. And this can be essentially any number that you want. If I assign it 60, then after 60 frames, this alarm will trigger. Now it will only trigger if I actually have an alarm event, which kind of makes sense because if you don't have an event for the alarm you've set, it's just going to ignore you. That you'll it doesn't do anything. So let's add an event now. And in here, I'm just going to say show message hi. And I'm going to put this object in our room. And then after 60 seconds, when we run the game, it will trigger this message, which is there you go. Hello, hi. Okay, that's the first way to use an alarm. The second way is using the dot notation, which we'll need a second object for. So I'm going to create object two. I'm going to add a create event. And I'm going to say obj alarm test dot alarm zero is equal to 30. That way we don't have to wait as long. I'm going to come in here, comment this one out, put object two in our game, and press F5 to run it. And then there it is again. So that alarm works just fine. So you can trigger it from another object like that, or you can use the with statement, obj alarm test, then set any alarm you want. That will work just as well. So that's kind of setting it the other way, but it's in a different object, so it still counts. So those are the three ways that I think I know how to actually set an alarm. That's, that's about it. But why would you want to use an alarm in the first place? Well, an alarm is a timer. So whatever number you put here, after that many frames of your game, it will trigger. And you can put any kind of code you want in here at all. You can actually turn an alarm into a step event, essentially, if at the end of the alarm, you just say that alarm equals one, because it's going to trigger again and again every single frame. So yeah, you could make alarms your own step events if you wanted to. You could also put them a little bit further apart. So if you wanted your game to not run every frame, which is probably a bad idea, but if you wanted something to just be checking maybe every half of a second if something has happened, you could just put that in here and run it again and again and again forever. The other cool thing you can do is you can use an alarm to basically as a Boolean to check itself. So an alarm triggers when it reaches zero. And then after it triggers and runs its code, that alarm goes to negative one. At negative one, which is what all of the alarms are before they get set, you can use that to just see if an alarm has been set. Because a lot of times in your game, you want to do something just one time. Like if you collide with an enemy, you want to take damage or destroy them or increase a score by one. But you only want to do that one time. So you have to have a Boolean somewhere in your code to say, have I already done this? If not, trigger it again. Well, an alarm, you can say, if alarm zero doesn't equal negative one, then trigger this alarm to activate. And this will only trigger if the alarm isn't currently running. So that's probably the most common way that I use this, is just to say, have I done this? If I haven't, then do it one time. And I set the alarm to activate after a few seconds or a few milliseconds, it doesn't matter. Not milliseconds, that's way too short, but a few frames. So that's alarms, that's how you use them, and that's kind of what I use them for. You have 12 alarms, you can do a lot with them. Anytime you want something to trigger after a certain amount of time, this is a fantastic way to do it. And what's also really cool, total side note though, if you ever say instance deactivate all, 
This actually keeps alarms at their correct amount, so you don't have to worry about if you use this this instance deactivate all to pause your game. It'll actually, when, it, when you reactivate everything, the alarms will be exactly where they were. So you can use them even if you're using this function to like pause your game or to get rid of instances, which is pretty cool. So that's about all I got for you though. If you have any questions about alarms, leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to get back to you. Thanks for joining me. And as always, keep making, keep learning, and I'll talk to you later.